Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Brayer, Zaitsev hybrid variation, 11.NBD2BB712.BC2RE813.NF1BF814.BG5. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. b5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. d6 defends the e5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. C3 prepares the d2-d4 pawn break and clears the c2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to g4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play d4. Nb8 retreats the knight in order to relocate it to d7, black plans to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7 and doesn't want the knight to block it on c6. D4 attacks the e5 pawn, controls the center and opens the diagonal for the dark squared bishop to develop. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center, defends the e5 pawn and keeps the a8h1 diagonal open for black's light squared bishop. Nbd2 develops the knight toward the center and protects the e4 pawn. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Bc2 retreats with the bishop to defend the e4 pawn. Re8 moves the rook to a central file and frees the f8 square for black's pieces. Nf1 maneuvers the knight toward the king side and prepares to play either ne3 or ng3 while also opening the diagonal for the dark squared bishop. Bf8 retreats the bishop to defend the king side and unblock the e file. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. It is the last book move. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. 
it is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This passes up the chance to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. It is an inaccuracy. This is a missed chance to seize a helpless pawn. It falls flat. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This makes it possible for the adversary to seize the checking knight. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. A pawn is therefore exposed to being captured. It is incorrect. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to connect rooks. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This is a missed chance to kick a knight. It falls flat. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to take an outpost with a bishop. It is a mistake. This prevents the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a bishop. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a bishop. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a miss. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to block a check from the opposing queen. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This defends the attacked rook. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is quite good. 
This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is good. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This is a poor attempt at defending a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. That's fine. It is good. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The game is still close to equal, but black lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This let the adversary could threaten a queen and win a tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a queen threat. It is incorrect. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a miss. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. A solid choice. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This threatens to win a bishop. It is good. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is excellent. That's a decent move. That's good. That's fine. It is good. This displays a queen attack. It is quite good. This prevents an attack on a queen who may have been taken prisoner. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. The bishop now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. 
what I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. The piece both makes a capture and defends a newly threatened piece. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is best. This captures a pawn that checked the king. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This removes the attacking pawn. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Recaptures. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.